Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Acecore Academy. In today's video, we are going to see shadow peaching recovery technique in ADBMS. Now, what is shadow peaching? Okay. Introduction to shadow peaching. Shadow peaching is one of the technique that is used to recover from failure. We all know that recovery means to get back the information which is lost. It helps to maintain database consistency in case of failure. Now in this shadow paging technique, we will see the hardest is having the data stored in the form of blocks and the blocks have records. There is a current directory or current page table which is present into the RAM or main memory. There is a copy of current page table which is also known as shadow page table in non-volatile memory or hard disk okay so basically here you can see i'm directly going to explain this technique with the help of this diagram okay as i said shadow paging is a technique to recover from the crash okay it is a technique to recover from the crash or any type of failure okay so basically here you can see it is having hard disk it is having current page table and copy of current page table is said to be as shadow page table. Okay. What hard disk is having? Hard disk is having blocks. As I said, hard disk is having blocks. And what this blocks consist of? This block consists of the data records. Okay. Data records. And what is this current page table having? Current page table is having the block number in it and the pointers to the blocks those are present into the hard disk okay what is current page table having current page table is having the block numbers and pointers to the blocks of your hard disk what pointer is basically it is nothing but the address okay it is having the address of the blocks those are present into the hard disk those are present into the hard disk did you get till here so basically what is hard disk having hard disk is having blocks these blocks are having records current page table which is present into the ram or the main memory we can say okay it is having the block number pointer which is pointing to the blocks present into the hard disk okay now whenever any transaction is about to begin whenever any transaction is about to begin this current page table copy of this current page table is maintained okay copy of current page table is maintained that copy is said to be as shadow page table you can see this is what shadow page table okay it is exactly same like your current page table which is having the block number which is again having the pointer which is pointing to the same blocks where your current page table is pointing since here we are saying what current page table is the copy of your shadow page table now once the transaction begins what is the transaction you can see here what is the transaction transaction one wants to transfer 100 from account a to account b you can see in the hard disk there is account a and there is account b account a is present into the block one account b is present into the block two account c is present into the block three okay and all the others which you can see those are free blocks okay which are free blocks into your hard disk make sure initially the where the current page table pointers are pointing same shadow page table pointers are pointing okay now once the transaction begins let's see this is the transaction how transaction is uh, initiated okay whenever a transaction is initiated the blocks are first bought into the main memory for the execution okay so here in the previous diagram you can see just a question was written transfer 100 from account a to account b now in this slide you can see that a block a is bought into the main memory for the execution that means what from 300 minus 100 the value is what 200 now this block is copied to the available free available blocks into your hard disk okay free available block of your hard disk 
this block a is copied into the free available block of your hard disk okay it is not copied to the older position instead it is copied to the new free available block okay similarly your block b as we have to transfer 100 from account a to account b now 400 plus 100 is nothing but 500 okay now this block is again bought into your hard disk at the free available free blocks of your hard disk okay now the pointer the current page table pointers will again point to the new block you can see this was the previous diagram where this were pointing to the old pages where the old pages were once the transaction has committed this current page table pointers are pointing to the new available free blocks okay after successful completion of your transaction the current page tables are pointing to the free available blocks where your blocks are recorded okay next you can see shadow page table you can see shadow page table shadow page tables are still pointing to the old pages okay still pointing to the old pages where the old pages were kept it is pointing to the block one and it is pointing to the block two okay this is what the concept once the successful completion of the transaction is done then your current page table is going to point to the new blocks where the data is being recorded okay but the shadow page table is still pointing to the old pages now what happens when the transaction is committed when the successful transaction take place you can see when the successful transaction take place it is going to discard your sh your shadow page table and it is going to discard all its pointer okay and it is going to make those old block free for any new process of the transaction okay yahan pe dekha aap logo ne shadow page table chala gaya uske sath sath jo bhi pointers uske sath the wo bhi chale gaye and only the current page table is kept and it is pointing to the new free available blocks okay next now let's see what happens if the transaction fail okay same as it is initiated or when the tr transaction start executing okay current page table is there shadow page table is there okay since before any transaction begins the current page table copy is made that copy is said to be as sh shadow page table it is going to point to exactly those block where the current page tables are pointing okay next transaction initiate transaction transfers 100 from account a to account b it is going to look like this okay now here the transaction fails although the same process are being followed over here the pointers are pointing to the new blocks okay but the shadow page table is still pointing to the old pages into the hard disk okay but the transaction is failed now once the transaction fails we have to roll back to our previous position where our database was right then what to do in this case then what to do in this case now here we have to keep the shadow page table as it is and this shadow page table will be treated as the current page table this shadow page table will be treated as current page table okay so here you can see then we have to roll back in this case the shadow table will become a current page table and we can get our data back which keeps our database in consistent state there is no undo and there is no redo that's why here this method is said to be as no undo no redo method okay पहले आपने क्या देखा था कि शेडो पेज टेबल को हम लोग डिस्कार्ड करने वाले जब कमिट होता है ट्रांजैक्शन सक्सेसफुल बट यहाँ पे आपने देखा है कि ट्रांजैक्शन फेल हुआ है जब भी ट्रांजैक्शन फेल होता है तो हम लोग क्या करेंगे करंट पेज टेबल को डिस्कार्ड करेंगे उसके पॉइंटर्स के साथ साथ ओके उसके पॉइंटर्स के साथ साथ अगेन दिस न्यू ब्लॉक्स जो भी थे ये दूसरे प्रोसेस के लिए अवेलेबल हो गए दूसरे प्रोसेस के लिए अवेलेबल हो गए ठीक है एंड द शेडो पेज टेबल इज ट्रीटेड एज करंट पेज टेबल इन दिस केस ओके वॉट एवर वी हैव सीन डायग्रामेटिकली ठीक है जस्ट द रिटर्न पार्ट इज ओवर योर द अमाउंट हंड्रेड इज टू बी ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम अकाउंट ए टू अकाउंट बी द अकाउंट ए इज इन डिस्क ब्लॉक वन एंड बी इज इन डिस्क ब्लॉक टू वेन देर इज अ सक्सेसफुल एग्जीक्यूशन before transaction starts the current directory copy called as shadow directory is created which is stored in an non volatile memory current directory points to the disk block of your secondary storage same is done by shadow page table okay 
Once transaction starts, the blocks are put into the memory for execution and then again stored in the hard disk in free memory block and current page table points to the new block in the hard disk. After successful execution, the shadow page table is discarded. Old pages blocks are made free for new process. Okay. Now next. When transaction fails, first two points are seen. Okay. Then once transaction starts, the blocks are bought into the memory for execution and then again stored in the hard disk in free memory block and current page table points to the new block in the hard disk and shadow page table still points to the old pages in the block. But if transaction fails, at this point the shadow page table becomes the current page table and previous current table is discarded. Okay. So that we can get our original data back once the transaction has failed because shadow page table is pointing to the old pages so we can get recover our old data fast right let's see the advantage the advantage of shadow paging are as follows no need for log records there is no log records okay no undo no redo algorithm recovery is fast so i hope you all understood what is a shadow paging recovery technique which is very very simple technique once you go through this video and you understand the diagram carefully then you will come to know the shadow paging recovery technique it is very very simple you can write in exam it it may come for four marks in the exam so it's very very helpful please like and share my channel and practice yourself thank you for watching this video